you get lucky, you get to stay. If you get unlucky, you are getting kicked out. We're in Santa Barbara, California, a beautiful city that has it all. The beach, the mountains, the weather, and two top universities and a college that rank number one in the nation. Together, they attract thousands of students each year, many of whom are international. From all over the world, people come here to study. But what happens after all these international students graduate from these American schools? Well, they can choose either to go back to their home country or apply for something called Optional Practical Training, which is a program designed specifically for international students as a work experience based on their college or university degree. It allows them to be employed in the United States for either 12 months and in some cases an additional 17 months. One of these international students that currently works under his optional practical training is Gen. I completed um, my bachelor's degree in England, but I came over here to get my AA in graphic design. I was lucky enough to find a job in Montecito doing graphic design and what it allows me to do is work until August of 2015 um, before the OPT runs out and I have to leave the country. But uh, fortunately I was uh, extremely lucky that my company wants to sponsor me. Uh, what that means is they will apply for an H-1B visa which is a, a work permit basically. Um, and I believe the minimum amount for that is three years. So if they, if they sponsor me, I can stay in the country for another three years. Uh, but the H-1B visa process is a little, a little complicated. Um, First of all, Gen needs to have at least a bachelor's degree to apply for the visa. He needs to work a job that requires his specific degree. Gen must also have an employer because he cannot sponsor himself. And last but not least, he must be paid at least a minimum salary. So now, Gen's employer can apply for the visa. Then the United States of America has a quota each year of 65,000 visas that they'll grant. An additional 20,000 visas are available for those with a master's degree or higher. And once the applications are in, a computer then randomly selects the total of 85,000 applications. So if you apply for the H-1B work visa, you basically enter a lottery system. And if uh, you're one of the unlucky few who, who don't get into that quota, then you get kicked out no matter if you have a bachelor's degree, master's degree, or even a, even a PhD. Um, it's, again, just a complete lottery system. If you get lucky, you get to stay. If you get unlucky, you are getting kicked out. In 2014, the USCIS received a total of about 172,000 applications for the H-1B visa. With the yearly quota, this means that the chance of actually being randomly selected by the computer is only 50%. It's the, the uncertainty is definitely stressful. Um, I love it here. I have a job here. I have friends here. Uh, I definitely want to stay. You know, I'm, I'm paying American taxes, which I don't get a lot of benefits from because I'm not a US citizen. But I'm paying all my taxes. I'm doing everything legally. Um, I kind of know what I'm doing with my life up until August, uh, but after that, it's, it's completely up in the air. The amount of international students coming to the United States to get an education has risen from a little over 570,000 in 2004 to over 850,000 in 2015. Because of this dramatic rise in international students, there have also been a lot more H-1B visa applications. But the quota for the H-1B that we've discussed earlier has stagnated. It's extremely frustrating. It's, it's, it feels like all the hard work that you put in to become educated, to become knowledgeable in the field that you want to study is going to nothing. International students bring more than $26 billion into the American economy, according to the U.S. Department of Commerce. These students from all over the world also bring international perspectives into the classrooms, helping prepare American students for global careers. 
but for international students like Gen, all they get in return is a future based on computer-generated luck.